annual 6 o'clock Christmas Eve skit. No sermon at the service. No sermon. Instead, we do the skit. Do a skit, yeah. I'm so excited about it, and the time has come. Yeah, and uh, normally we have a theme for our skit, and maybe some of you are like, well, I wonder what the theme is going to be this year. So, without further ado, should we tell them what the theme of this year is going to be? No. Let's no? not tell them. Let's show them. Now, okay, let's do it. Let's show them the theme. Just give me a second. Give me a second. I'm so excited to show you that this year's theme Stars. Let's get ready. Here we go. Ooh. Ah. Right? Stars. And that's because in the Bible we're told that a star appeared over where Jesus was born. And so our skit this year is going to tell all about the star and what it meant. Some of you might have been guessing it. We had a few clues along the way in Advent. But now it's officially announced. Stars. Well, I'll just get our script so we can get started. Yeah, so we have a really great skit ready for you. We just need our scripts. We don't usually memorize it. We read off of it. Hey, I'm, I'm not finding. Did you say it was back here? Yeah, I put it back where you where you Yeah, said. no, I don't see it. I don't see the script. No, really, Rob. No, no. Actually, did, do any of you did any of you get a script with any of your bulletins? Should I leave it in the pew somewhere? Oh. Um, no, but I remember I left There's a lot on our plates this time of year. <laughs> I left him at home and I said, Rob, before we go, yeah. grab the script. I may not have, um, as a husband, I'm not always the best listener. Uh, so uh, that, that might have gone in one ear and not the other. Oh, what are you going to do with our script? I'm so bummed because this was the year. Yes, this was the year. This was the year we were going to go big. We're going to go big this year. And I was really hey. excited about it. Did I hear you guys say you want to go big? I know a thing or two about going big. Right? It's the only way to be a star. Right? Listen, guys, your skits are great, but it's a Christmas scene. But I think it's time you guys took a few corners for someone like me. Right? It's going to take work. It's going to take commitment. It's going to take grit. But I can promise you, you're going to be a star. Let's start right now. Right, right now, Pastor Rob, we're going to start doing push ups. Let's do it. <laughs>
Yes, yes. Okay, so back to our script. Back to the script. And where it could be. Um, because the, the skit we have is so fun. It, it was a really good skit, yes. I, we don't live that far. Yeah, we, we don't, yeah, you could. Why don't I just walk home? Yeah. You guys just think it's on the head. I can be really fast, I can go all that. Oh, I can just. No need to run home, my darlings. I can help you out with this. That sporty gentleman did have some good suggestions for how to be a star. But I think I could offer you some advice of my own. You see, the world is full of stars. There are rock stars, TV stars, Broadway stars, and, like yours truly, stars of the silver screen. And for all the stars there are out there, there's hundreds longing for that type of thing. But how do you achieve that, you might ask? I've got a secret for you. Go global. And how to go global? One word. Instagram. <laughs> I would have never earned my Oscar for Star Wars Episode 10, Return to Bethlehem, if it not been for my 450 million followers. I got 98 million likes just on my post yesterday. So let's give it a try. Okay. We need to jazz you up a bit first.
looks better when it's baked.